via the power of Skype. He was an NBA uh, player, played in an NBA Finals. He went to Kansas. I want to hear all about it. Please, he's got a podcast <laughs> called Planet Pollard. Please welcome Scott Pollard, everybody. Hey. What's up, everybody? What's up, brother? Yeah. What's up? Real quick about your college years. Uh, what made you pick Kansas? Like, like for me, it's like you hear all these like recruiting scandals, and you know, I mean Louisville, and then uh, you know all football scandals. Like, what made you pick Kansas? And did you get any of that hot sauce thrown in there, like the ladies, or oh. a little hot, <laughs> a little cash in a car on the side? Did you get? Did you get the good stuff? I got nothing. I got offers from other schools, um, and and actually, my sister told me a story after I retired from the NBA. I got recruited in 1991 and 92. Good years. Uh, heavily. I mean, it's it started before then, but I mean, I signed in 1992 with Kansas, but I was getting recruited by everybody. I was a pretty high uh, ranked prospect, so I I got a lot of attention, and my sister told me after I retired from the NBA in, in 2008. She said, you know, there was a school that the assistant coach called me and said, you have, she lived in uh, La Jolla at the time and, you know, had a job, but wasn't doing great. Like, you know, and, uh, they said she had a $2 million shopping limit for houses in La Jolla. Holy so shit. she could just go buy a house up to $2 million, what? Give her a job, but I had to go to that school Holy shit! and she never told me until I retired from the NBA. I was like, man, I would have taken that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but how wow. great! How I can't cool is she? What a two million dollar house in 1992 would be worth right now oh in God. La Jolla, California. I know you. It's a I very know. Expensive area. I know you can't say what the name of the school is, but does it rhyme with USC? <laughs> <laughs> it was not USC. They 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 uh, they didn't recruit me very hard. Uh, George Raveling actually uh, was there still, and he coached my oldest brother and figured I wouldn't ever go play for him, and he was right. Actually, if it's dead in La Jolla, it probably rhymes with Man Diego State. <laughs> yeah. Wow, two mil, though. <laughs> they, they took a shot at me, too. Um, I, I canceled one trip. I was going to go to LSU because the rumor was that Dale Brown, he was the coach at the time, he coached Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Uh, the rumor was that he was he was throwing big money around, and, and so I was, I was taking a trip to LSU just to see what he would offer me in person. Mm -hmm. And uh, I ended up committing to Kansas, and I canceled my trip to LSU. So I, I never got to hear what the preacher man was offering. But um, to, to your point about the, uh, the hot sauce, the other stuff, <laughs> I, was sauce. My, I was on my trip to UCLA, and they took me to a party. And it just wasn't my scene. Yeah, um, it, it wasn't the right place for me to be. Uh, and I and I grew up Mormon, so I wasn't a real party kid. I didn't drink in, until I was 21, actually. Mm -hmm. And you know, I wasn't a party kid. I was just, you know, kind of innocent as a kid. And so it just wasn't my scene. And I really wanted to go to UCLA. That was that was close to home. It was a, a blue blood school. Right. And I really wanted to go there, but it just it wasn't the right fit for me. The coach and I didn't get along. Who was coaching then at the uh, time? Very well. It was Jim Herrick, and oh, uh, but... he was he was kind of touting that he was Mormon. But then we went back to his house and there was coffee and alcohol <laughs> everywhere. And, he was drinking coffee. and I was like, hey, I don't I don't care if you're not Mormon. Don't tell me you are. And then you do stuff that clearly Mormons don't do. So right. anyway. Are you Jack Mormon now? Because I grew up in Vegas. I found what Jack Mormon was. Oh, I didn't go. I went to college there. And I always loved the girls who were Jack Mormon. They were like, we're Mormon, but we ain't afraid to put a little hot sauce on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, I don't, I, I, I don't, I'm not a Jack Mormon. I just don't go to church anymore. Right. right. So I don't know what that's called. I just, I'm, I'm, they, my family calls me an inactive member. I respect uh, that. But I have, huh? When did you have a real, when did you realize that you had a shot at the NBA? I'm sure when you're a big recruit, you're going, I'm going pro, I'm going pro. But when did you realize that there was actually a chance that you could go pro? At the end of my senior year, when my coach uh, called me in and said, all right, I'm going to let you interview four agents and that, that I tolerate. He said, they're all dirt, but I'll let you interview <laughs> these four. And that was when it became real to me. It, was, it, it had always been a dream of mine. It was always something I wanted to do. And I worked my entire childhood and, and young adulthood to do. But I never, um, never really was like, this is going to happen until I started interviewing agents and, and uh, then they started telling me that what where I was going to get picked. They were like, you're going to get picked in the first round. And I was like, no. And they were like, no, yeah, you are. And I did. 